The phones may be ringing now at Crisis Connection. Crisis Connection, my name is Mitch. But not for long. To best assist you, can I get your first name and zip code, please? In the back of their minds, there's one date. June 30th at 5 p.m. That Saturday at 5 p.m., the last of the projected 55,000 rings for the year will officially cease due to lack of funding. We were asking for $969,000, which would allow us to answer those 55,000 phone calls at an 80% answer rate. Matt Eastwood, the CEO of Canvas Health that runs Crisis Connection, says there was no other way to collect the near million to keep operating. He says at this point, he's hoping other mental health providers will help fill in the gaps. That the therapists in the broader community take more responsibility for covering their own clients after hours, weekends and holidays, because um, our number will no longer be there for them to refer their clients to. But Eastwood says there's still hope. Minnesota Gambling Helpline, my name is Mitch. For those who are seeking help. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline will still be available to Minnesota residents. Um, as it always has been. It simply won't be answered in Minnesota any longer, but it will be answered by someone in the country. As disappointing as it is for this helpline to search for its own lifeline, Eastwood says he understands the constraints. Um, we know we weren't the only ones that, got, uh, that didn't get funded. A lot of programs are at risk because of that lack of funding. And so we try to keep that in perspective. As you heard, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline will still be available to Minnesota residents. If you're in need of help, you can also call your county's crisis hotline or dial star star crisis if you're in the metro area. All right. Thank you, Sharon.